It's fun. It's good fun. I mean, I think it's because it's a very practical course. I think people are, are here for a very specific reason because they want to acquire certain skills and certain experience. So everybody's very focused and the nature of the tasks in the breakout groups are very practical. So back in the office tomorrow uh, and I'll be instantly applying what I've learned in those groups. So it's, uh, it's very practical. Very informative. The pace has been good. I was a bit worried that it might be either too advanced for me or, you know, too slow because there's nothing worse than sitting there thinking, oh, you know, can we go a bit quicker? Um, project management is something which you can't really be taught in lots of cases. You can be given the sort of outline procedures, but then you need to go away and actually use them in practice to really understand them. So we've had lots of team exercises and they've been really, really useful in firming up exactly what the, the procedures are and helping us use them in practice. It's all pragmatic and, and actually roughly half of the course is spent in syndicates so working on a case study and, and people actually get to do the the activities that they would be doing in a real life project. So, uh, you prepare the tender document, you? Yeah. Because we're practitioners, we understand how it all hangs together rather than a theoretical model. So we're able to give our input and, and tips on, on what should happen. But also we run it, the case study as a life cycle. So you start as you would with a project at the beginning and you work your way through over the three days. Um, so there is a nice logical flow to it. Very, very broad, very, very varied. The course itself is, is, a, is a mixture of traditional tuition where you sit and looking at PowerPoint slides, but also breakout groups where you're uh, in small teams and you're working on specific tasks to the clock. And uh, you're sort of, I mean, they're, they're not competitive, but there are, I think, three or four groups, and obviously there's, there's, a, there's an element of competition as to, to who completes the best. Uh, the best task in the quickest time. So it's it's work. I think that's what I'm saying. It's not just sitting around listening to people and reading. It's there's there's hard work involved. Yeah. The groups were completely random, so it wasn't a case of choosing people you thought you would get on with. And um, you were put together. So then you ha it was like a you know real world environment when you're put in a team and you have to work with people. So it's very realistic. There's an initiative called Professional Skills for Government, and Project and Program Management is one of the core skills. So everyone's expected to have some knowledge of it. Um, and we run a range of courses, so we've got one day overview courses and, and a one day running small projects course, whereas the course that's running this week is actually slightly more advanced than that. People nominate themselves because perhaps they're weak in that area or need to know more about it. People that are actually running projects come on it as well, so you really do get, get a mix and people's line managers see it as a development opportunity for, for individuals as well. It's quite nice to teach because the students aren't under any pressure to take an examination at the end. And I think it's good for the students as well because they can really absorb um, what's going on. Rather than cram into passing the exam, they're actually thinking about how could they apply this back at work. I think the most important thing I've learned from this is what to avoid, um, what traps you can easily fall into. I think that's really useful for a first-time project manager. And um, I've also got some, some paperwork and I can go back and, and take that back to DEFRA and use that. And if I, if I have any difficulties or think, hang on a minute, how should I be documenting this, I can go back and look at my course notes and there'll be an answer there. I think everybody should do this course. Uh, I think it should be obligatory. Even for people who don't have a formal project management role, I think that you can apply uh, a lot of the, 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 the techniques that are taught here um, in, in everyday uh, work situations.